Hi everyone, welcome to my garden. Unfortunately today I'm going to be ripping out a whole bunch of my plants and starting over. This is not an easy thing to do. These are plants that I started from seed and put a lot of time, effort, and money into. A couple of weeks ago I started to notice symptoms of herbicide drift damage on my tomato plants. And this isn't the first time this has happened. About eight years ago I had the same problem. I want to show you all what it looks like so you know what to look out for. Damage can appear a little different on various types of plants and I have plenty of examples to show you. All of this damage is likely from dicamba or 2,4-D. On tomatoes this is what it looks like. It affects the younger, newer growth more than the old growth. As you can see the young leaves are all twisty, narrow, curled, and stunted looking. Taking a closer look you can see the veins and the leaves are very wavy. It is possible for plants to outgrow this, but the crop will be reduced. It'll take longer for the plants to start producing fruit. And there's really no way to tell if the fruit is safe to eat. I would rather start over with healthy plants and lose a little bit of time knowing that I'm not eating herbicides. I did as much research on the internet as I could. And I called my county extension agent and I talked with him and I'm just going to start over. I did find a nursery that had a really good selection of plants. They were pretty cheap. My plants all cost only $1.25 each. I'll show you what I bought later in this video. Next we'll take a look at the watermelons. If you look closely you can see a puckered or bubbled appearance on some of my leaves. You can also see how skinny some of the leaves are and they appear a little distorted. These are all signs of drift damage on watermelons. On my peppers, the new growth leaves are a little distorted and skinny. They just don't look right. This variety is high in anthocyanin and it just has a purple appearance. Even the flowers are purple, so ignore the purple appearance. It has nothing to do with the herbicide damage. My sunflowers and zinnia starts that were sitting out on my deck, I hadn't planted them yet were also affected. You can see these little tiny skinny leaves and then there's some new growth over that and the flowers do appear to be outgrowing the damage. I'm gonna go ahead and plant them because I'm not eating them. Eight years ago when this happened, I only had to replace four or five tomato plants. I'm definitely having to replace a lot more plants this time. The bright side, I have plenty of other stuff grow in that seems perfectly fine. Herbicide drifts can affect your plants from up to a few miles away. I have a good idea of where this probably came from. There's a lot of farmland around here. You don't have to live near farmland to be affected by herbicide drifts. Your neighbors could spray something and it can drift into your yard. Your township could be spraying the ditch. Now I'll tell you some of the varieties I've got at the nursery. I found yellow brandywine, which is my favorite. I'm glad I was able to get that one. Pink brandywine, German red strawberry, German Johnson, pineapple, hillbilly, big beef. That's going to be my only hybrid. Black cherry, mortgage lifter. There's a couple others that I got. I've grown every single one of these varieties before. I did start some watermelons over from seed. I planted an Alibaba and an orange glow. And then at the nursery, I bought a crimson sweet plant an All Sweet, Florida Giant, Sugar Baby, Moon and Stars. There's a couple others. I can't remember all the pepper varieties I'm growing because I don't have them right here in front of my face. I think there's Hungarian Wax, um, Habanero, just red bell peppers, things like that. Honestly, I'm not really that into peppers, so I'm not remembering them very well. But I will miss not having Jimmy Nardello peppers this year because I really do like that variety. So my peppers, tomatoes, and watermelon are going to be setting fruit a little bit later. I hope that those of you that were following along are still going to follow along. I have plenty more videos coming up this year. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!